Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing, Holy, 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 I want to see you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We're celebrating today the feast of St. Bernard of Clairvaux. St. Bernard joined the monastery when he was 20 years old, and he was so excited, so enthusiastic about seeking the Lord in, in the monastic life that he somehow convinced 30 of his relatives and friends to join him. And so when he went to the monastery, he had uh, 30 other uh, men who were joining with him, and he, he had a tremendous impact on uh, the church in his time and, and, and to this day. Let's open our hearts to the Lord. Let's allow the Lord to touch our hearts and make us new. Lord Jesus, as far as the east is from the west, you cast away our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, though our sins be as scarlet, you make us white as snow. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the merciful Redeemer. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made of the abbot St. Bernard a man consumed with zeal for your house, and a light shining and burning in your church. Grant through his intercession that we may be on fire with the same spirit and walk always as children of life, light through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, I will sanctify my name, my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, and which you have profaned among them. And the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when through you I display my holiness before their eyes. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness and from all your idols I will cleanse you. And a new heart I will give you and a new spirit I will put within you and I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you and make you follow my statutes and be careful to observe my ordinances. Then you shall live in the land that I gave to your ancestors and you shall be my people and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. clean water on you and wash away all your sins. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. 
I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and sustain in me a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners will return to you. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. For you have no delight in sacrifice. If I were to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O oh God, you will not despise. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. If today you hear God's voice, Harden not your hearts. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Once more, Jesus spoke to the chief priests and the elders of the people in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding banquet for his son. He sent his slaves to call those who had been invited to the wedding banquet, but they would not come. Again, he sent other slaves, saying, Tell those who have been invited, Look, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen, my fat calves have been slaughtered and everything is ready. Come to the wedding banquet. But they made light of it and went away, one to his farm, another to his business, while the rest, of, rest seized his slaves, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged. He sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then he said to his slaves, the wedding is ready, but those invited were not worthy. Go therefore into the main streets and invite everyone you find to the wedding banquet. Those slaves went out into the streets and gathered all whom they found, both good and bad. So the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to see the guests, he noticed a man there who was not wearing a wedding robe. And the king said to him, Friend, how did you get in here without a wedding robe? And he was speechless. Then the king said to the attendants, Bind him hand and foot, and throw him into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So I think the wedding garment that we're supposed to all be wearing is the wedding garment of repentance. We're supposed to live in a constant state of repentance as Christians, always acknowledging that we, we fall short and we need the Lord's mercy, always calling on the Lord's mercy in our lives, even as we're rejoicing in the Lord, thanking Him, praising Him, uh, but also calling on Him for mercy. And we hear this uh, cry for mercy in the psalm today. The uh, psalmist David prays, Lord, create in me a clean heart. And there's this mystery of our Lord. He's the creator. He creates everything. He creates everything out of nothing. And we also know that the Lord makes all things new. And in Ezekiel, this beautiful uh, passage from Ezekiel, the Lord says, uh, I will sprinkle clean water upon you and cleanse you from all of your impurities. And from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. And again, we see the Lord making us new, which God can do. Did you know that God can do that? He can make us new. He can, in a sense, 
recreate us. I think that's what's going to happen in heaven. You know, in heaven, what the Lord's going to do, He's going to make us new, He's going to recreate us. What He's going to do is He's going to take everything in us that, that's not good, and He's just going to uh, wash it away. So that when we're in heaven, there's no guilt, there's no shame from the past, because that's gone. That got obliterated. The person we will be in heaven will be a new creation. And none of the baggage, none of the, none of the, the brokenness, none of the sinfulness, none of the, the, the woundedness from the past will even exist. The Lord will make us new. And I think He already does this in this life, especially when we go to confession. You know, you go to confession, the Lord sprinkles His clean water upon us, and He gives us a new heart, and He makes us new. And that's why the Lord says, your sins, I remember no more. Like, they're gone. God recreates us and, and, and makes us new. And it's, it's, a, it's a mystery of faith. We, we, we don't necessarily see it because we kind of remember the sins of our past. We remember the things we're ashamed of, our brokenness. Like we, you know, and, and other people remember, and even the consequences of the things we've done, those things still remain, but that's just in our eyes. Not in God's eyes. When God forgives us, when He sprinkles His clean water upon us, when He gives us a new heart, all of that negative stuff from the past, it, it's gone. God only sees what He has recreated and made new, and that's all that is good. So let's, let's live that life of repentance, you know, always calling on the Lord's mercy, always you know, uh, going to the Lord with our daily examination of conscience, repenting of our sins, imploring His mercy so that we can indeed be made new by the Lord every day. God invites us to the banquet of eternal life in heaven. Let us ask our loving Father for all our needs that the church on earth may continue to flourish and draw many to the feast of God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the rich and the poor alike may not make excuses to evade the call of the kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That by having pure and contrite hearts we may be found worthy to come to the banquet God has prepared for us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may bring God's compassion and kindness to the sick and the disabled, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may live in, house, in, in the house of the Lord and rejoice in the banquet of eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of today's Mass, for the holy souls in purgatory, offered by Tania Padayaro, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you invite us to be with you in your kingdom. As we pray for others, help us to bring them with us to that banquet set forth by your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Father, I have sinned. Help me find my way. Remember not my sin. Just let me hear you say, I forgive you, I love you, you are mine, take my hand, go in peace, sin no more, beloved one. Father, I have turned my back and walked away, depended on my strength, and lived life my own way. I forgive you. I love you, you are mine, take my hand, 
go in peace sin no more beloved one go in peace sin no more beloved one I pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer to your majesty, O Lord, the sacrament of unity and peace as we celebrate the memorial of, Saint, uh, of the abbot St. Bernard, a man outstanding in word and deed who strove to bring order and concord to your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Bernard you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Terence and Marcel, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. With all creation I sing praise to the King of kings. You are my everything, and I will adore you. I will adore you. Filled with wonder, awestruck wonder at the mansion of your name. Jesus, your name is power, breath and living water. Such a marvelous mystery. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. With all creation I sing praise to the King of Kings. You are my everything, and I will adore you. I will adore you. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and is 
present and is to come. With all creation I sing praise to the King of Kings. You are my everything and I will adore you. I will adore you. You are my everything, and I will adore you. I will adore you. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May the food we have received, O Lord, as we honor St. Bernard, work its effect in us, so that strengthened by his example and instructed by his teaching, we may be caught up in love of your incarnate word, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. Heavenly Father, pour out your gracious blessing upon your children. Heavenly Father, pour out the power of your love into our hearts. Heavenly Father, give us light to see as you gave St. Bernard of Clairvaux, light to see your wonders, to, to learn your mysteries. Lord, fill us with your joy this day. And may the blessing of Almighty God descend upon you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and remain with you forever. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Daily, daily sing to Mary, sing my soul, her praises do. All her feasts, her actions worship with a heart's devotion true. Lost in wandering contemplation, by her majesty confessed, call her mother. Call